two words for you, preserve and reserve. If you preserve your reserve, you're likely, it's very likely, that you won't manifest your dream. Stay tuned because I have something very important to tell you that's going to help you not to preserve your reserve. Wow, what are you talking about? Now there is a parable in the Bible that talks about preserving your reserve. Allow me to read. And he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant harvest. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I will do. I will tear down my barns and build even bigger ones. And there, and there I will store my surplus grain. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life will be demanded of you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves, but is not rich towards God. So how do you relate to this? So how does this relate to you? You have talent, you have abilities, you have treasures stored up inside of you that God himself deposited inside of you, in you, when you were born. Now, those things are borrowed. Your talent and abilities and skills are borrowed. They're not really yours. They belong to God because when you die, when you transition to heaven, you give it back to him. Now, that's a big responsibility. It's also a tremendous privilege. But if we take our reserve, kind of like the man with the grain in the Bible, if we take our reserve and preserve it, we're not using it. We're waiting on something to happen. Nothing is going to happen with your reserve until you take it out of the preserves. Now, you're not a jar of jelly or jam, so it's not going to so it's not going to ferment and become richer. What it's going to do, it's going to waste your time. It's going to waste your lifetime. You're going to waste your lifetime away by reserving yourself, waiting for an opportunity to use your preserves, i.e. your talent, your abilities, your skills. Because here's the funny thing, and I've thought about this many times. Let me know what you think. Nine months is the gestation period for a human being. After the moment of conception, the baby develops and grows inside the mother's womb, and then it's born. However, when you're born, you really don't know how long you have upon this planet, which makes you very conscious of your lifetime. At least it should. So you don't know how much time you have to reserve your preserve. So therefore, so I strongly suggest to ask yourself this question today. Your reserves, are you preserving them or using them? Are you opening up the jar and tasting it and enjoying it and sharing it with other people and developing more of your reserves? Or are you holding back? Because if you reserve your preserve, you are not going to succeed and become fulfilled. David, that sounds really nice, but you got to understand I got bills. I got payments and coming in every month. I don't have time to use my preserves. I gotta preserve them, therefore, someday, someday, I'll be able to use them and everything will come to me. Well, actually, friend, there are a few holes in your belief system, your BS, and here they are. There are actually three. Number one is your time. We don't know, like I said before, we don't know how much time we have. Time can never be replaced. Time is not our enemy. Time is not our friend. It is just a clock ticking. Number two is our is our energy. Energy is based upon how we use our time, effectively or ineffectively. And number three is a relationship. Is a relationship finger word. It is our money. What relationship do you have with your money? What relationship do you have with your ability to earn money? The cool thing about money is, and actually there's only one cool thing about it, is that the more you work, the more you earn. So money can be replaced any time you want. What we need to do is take control of our time and master our time, which in essence is mastering our emotional stability and focusing our energy on using our preserves instead of reserving them for a future date that we have no idea actually what that date will be. If you need a coach, I may be the one for you. DavidThompsonCoaching.co DavidThompsonCoaching.co Like, subscribe, and comment below. I really appreciate it. And share this message. I hope it helped you. If you want to learn something new, learn something different, contact me at David at davidthompsoncoaching.co. I hope to hear from you. And remember, don't, don't reserve your preserves. Use them.